Within the human body, proteins carry out a range of functions essential to life. This year's Nobel Prize in Chemistry has been awarded for the mechanism of protein degradation in cells. We found that the small protein, which its role is to take the proteins for degradation. It, it is a kind of a death tag, or a kiss of death, it was called. It's the first time that Israeli scientists have received a Nobel Prize. Two of the laureates are based at the Technion, the Israel Institute of Technology in Haifa. Avram Hershko's research into protein degradation began when he was a student. I went uh, for a postdoctoral training period in San Francisco, and then uh, there was a big lab which worked on the synthesis of a certain protein. So I asked, uh, I asked the head of the laboratory, Gordon Tompkins, can I work on something else? <laughs> because it looks too crowded. So he said, why don't you work on the degradation of the same protein? The protein in question was ubiquitin, a small protein isolated in 1975. It was known that proteins in cells are degraded when they are not needed anymore, but no one knew how it was done. So I saw that there is a need to understand the chemical processes that, that selectively degrade the right protein you know, out of the out of the tens of thousands of proteins that we have a cell, this one certain protein is selected at a certain time and degraded at the right time. Aaron Shikanova joined the project as Avram Hershko's graduate student. His interest in science began in childhood. I, I dreamt science and medicine all, all my life. I mean, I remember when as a kid, I took the most precious Jewish book, which is the Talmud, and we had a copy of it, huge books, a series of books at home. It belonged to my brother. And I dried the flowers in them. I took flowers and I made my collection. My brother came home and he got, uh, you know, he, he exploded. I mean, he thought what this crazy kid is doing. He takes flowers from the mountain, wet flowers, and he dries them in the Jewish Talmud. I mean, it's not only that it, 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 it you know, it, it really uh, damaged the books, but the contrast, he, he couldn't, understand this huge contrast. So my love to science and to nature has been there forever. Having identified ubiquitin as playing a key role in protein degradation, Hershko and Shikanova set about trying to define the mechanism of degradation. This discovery came about during a series of sabbaticals at Fox Chase Cancer Center in Philadelphia, where they worked with the American scientist, Erwin Rose. Hershko at that time with his uh, graduate student, Sihanover, came to, uh, came to our lab in, uh, in summers and uh, occasionally for whole years. And we and they elaborated the different steps we found that the small protein, which we discovered here, uh, its, its role is to take the proteins for degradation. It, it is a kind of a death tag, or a kiss of death, it was called uh, by, by the Swedish Academy. It's really a kiss of death for the protein, but I should say it is the kiss of life for the cell, because it's very important to degrade the right protein at the right time, otherwise the cell gets out of control. So it's a small molecule ubiquitin that decides which protein will be executed will terminate its life at a certain point. The laureates worked out that proteins to be degraded in cells are tagged or labeled with a ubiquitin molecule. The labeled proteins are fed into structures within the cell called proteasomes, the cell's waste disposal units. It's here that they are cut into small fragments and destroyed. The medical implications of this discovery are far-reaching because proteins play a key role in cancer. If you're going to understand uh, the origin of the cancer, uh, you've got to understand the control of a, of a protein that influences the DNA 
Ubiquity in mediated protein degradation, which is the system that we discovered, seems to be involved in almost every basic process in life. And that is because proteins are involved in all, almost every basic process in life. And that, that includes uh, control of cell division, which is very important because when cells get out of control, then we have cancer. So the, the prize is a chemistry prize because it was done for understanding how how the chemical processes are in the body, but actually the, the big implications are for medicine. This contribution to chemistry and medicine is the result of a remarkable team effort. We are all a team. I know them very well. Aaron Chakhanover was my graduate student for five years. And now he's my colleague at the medical school. We discussed every day, you know, the, the, his results and uh, what should he should do in uh, the next experiment. So I know him very well. Unlike Hershko and Shikanova, Erwin Rose has never specialized in ubiquitin research. It was not my whole life. So therefore, uh, since it wasn't my whole life, I didn't feel that, uh, uh, that I was really that instrumental in it. I am very, very glad that Erwin uh, Rose was included in the most prestigious prize of all. And he deserves it because he had a very important impact at the most crucial period of this research. <laughs>